Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabella and this is my first YouTube video. I have never been editing videos before and I don't have any experience with it. So this video may not be the best quality, but I will do what I can to improve it in the future. Please tell me in the comments below what I can make better. Also, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to help me grow and see my future videos. This is the first part of how do I paint detailed watercolor mushroom, Chanterelle. Once you finish this video, you can continue watching the second part. In this video, I want to show you how do I paint detailed picture of mushrooms with watercolors. When it comes to my favorite watercolor paint brand, I'm using Holbein. I have 24 colors, but for this painting I used only a few. I have been using mostly a mix of permanent yellow deep, yellow orchid, vermilion hue and light red. I also used a little bit of burnt sienna, mineral violet and ultramarine deep. If you are starting your journey with watercolors, you do not have to buy all 24 colors. A few will be enough. In my opinion, it is more important to invest in a good quality watercolors rather than spending money for lots of cheap paints. The bad quality paint would simply destroy your paintings and you may not achieve results as good as you wish. Even though I have 24 colors, there are some I have never used. As you can see, my brush is not in the best state, but I love using this specific one. It is really cheap brush, which I bought on AliExpress, and even though I have other expensive brushes, I'm using this one most of the time. Thanks to this brush, I can paint both thin detail lines, but also white brush strokes. I tried other brushes, but I can't help it. This one is my favorite. I would be really happy to buy another one, but I cannot find it anymore. For this painting, I use 300 GSM cotton cold pressed paper. Size is around 7 and 5 inches. Going back to my mushroom painting, after a fine sketch, I'm painting the first subtle layer. I always leave unpainted spaces for the brightest parts of the painting. Right next to me I have a photo which I'm using for the reference. This way, during the process of painting, I can examine exactly how too much color to add. Most of the time I build my paintings from the general to the specific. I simply add next layers and focus on smaller details. I add more and more colors to make my painting expressive and colorful. But of course, I want to stick with the true realistic colors, like on the photo. I need to be really careful to, do, to not cross the border. I do not want to add too much paint. Sometimes it is really hard to stop painting. It is difficult to decide that this is it. This is the final stroke. I have to watch out not to overpaint my picture too much. The whole process takes quite a long time for me. I often need to stop for a long moment to think how to present the image on the paper. Sometimes it takes me 10 minutes before I decide what my next stroke on the paper will be. So. If you want to paint your own detailed watercolor painting, I advise you to take your time. Think what would you like to show and present. There is no need to hurry. When I paint, I also like to have a delicate music in the background. Something which will help me relax my mind. Of course, it depends on the person in what environment someone feels relaxed. But I think most people will come listening to their favorite music. For me, it's either classical music or anime songs. Since this is my first video, I would like to ask 
What kind of painting process would you like to see next? I thought about making some simple painting process videos, easier to follow up, like painting an apple, a pear or an avocado. I think painting chanterelle mushroom may not be the easy to follow up, but I wanted to present myself in this video, to show how I work and simply I enjoy painting mushrooms. So please write your ideas in the comments below. What would you like to see? This is really important for me because I'm just starting with this YouTube channel. So I will appreciate any advice. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All the links you can find in the description. Enjoy the rest of the video and thank you for watching.